everyone and welcome to Nikki and Stitches. Today we're going to talk about ways to apply decals to your wall. So this video could be for someone who just purchased a decal and needs help putting it on their wall or it could be for those of you that actually create decals on your own either for personal use or to sell them. So we're going to split it up into two parts. First we're going to talk about some tips and tricks to make sure that it's perfectly horizontal on the wall how you want it and then we're going to talk about some tricks for peeling off that transfer paper and making sure your decal stays behind with no air bubbles. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your decal comes with this layer of clear transfer paper over top that makes applying the decal really simple because the whole thing goes on as one piece. And the first thing you want to do is grab a ruler straight edge and mark the line right down the center of your decal that marks the vertical line. And then you're going to take your ruler and flip it up this way and about one inch from the top of the decal you're going to mark then the perfect horizontal line straight across. So again just to mark this one is vertical, this one is horizontal and the distance here is about one inch. And now you're going to make just a few marks on either side of that vertical line. So I usually, the more marks you make the better. I usually make one about two inches out from each side and then maybe three inches out farther from that on each side. So again, just to mark, the distance here is two inches and the distance here is three. And same thing on this side, the distance here is two inches, the distance here is three. And now we'll make these same marks on our wall. So now we're going to mark those same exact lines on our wall. So you're going to find exactly the uh, vertical center of your design on your wall and make sure that you draw a line perfectly vertical on your wall. Then you're going to find about where you want the top of your decal and go up one inch farther than that just like we did on our uh, transfer paper. We marked it one inch higher than the top of our decal. So we'll draw a horizontal line here one inch above the top of our decal. Then we're going to mark those same two points on each side. So from the center I'm going to go two inches out on each side and then I'll go three inches farther out from that on each side. Okay, so now here's one more trick before we're ready to actually put this onto the wall. You don't want to just peel the whole thing off and stick it to the wall because that leaves this whole entire area open to accidentally stick to your wall before you're ready to get it in perfect place. So the trick is you peel the whole thing up off of the backing that it came with and it should come off for the most part pretty easily. If you have a little spot like this that doesn't want to pick up, just give it a little rub and then the whole thing should come up. And now you want to take that whole piece and put it back on the transfer paper with just those registration marks hanging off of the top. So now the only parts that's sticky are the points that we've drawn and we don't have to worry about this whole thing accidentally sticking to the wall before we have it exactly where we want it. Okay, so now we're back at the wall and you can see I've put some black dots here on the wall just to help you see better. Those four points that we marked, two inches on each side of the vertical line and then three inches farther out from that. And remember, we have those same exact points on our decal right here and we've moved the decal up on the backing paper so that only these sticky points are above it. We don't have to worry about the rest of this decal accidentally sticking to the wall before we're ready to have it in place. And so now this is how easy this is. You're going to take these four points that you've marked on your transfer paper and align them with the four points that you've marked on your wall. So we're going to get them into place and make sure that they fall perfectly over the points that we've drawn on the wall. Smooth out the top of your transfer paper. If you're worried about it coming off of the wall before you're ready, you can always just grab some masking tape and put um, a little bit of masking tape up here at the top to make sure that it really stays in place. And now you're going to lift this up, pull off the backing paper. Remember, we've already pulled it off once, so everything really should stay in place pretty well when you peel it off. And you're going to just slide this down. Oh, got a little bubble right there. You're going to slide this down right on to the wall and smooth it out. And now we have it 
aligned on the wall. Next we're going to talk about how to peel away this transfer paper and just leave our decal in place behind. So now that you have your decal in place, the next thing to do is grab some kind of a scraper, a credit card, or a driver's license. They was all work fine. And you're just going to give this a really good rub onto the wall. And not only is that going to work out any tiny little air bubbles that you may have, but it's also going to get this really stuck to the wall. So now, the trick to peeling off the decal or off the transfer paper really lies in a few things. One is temperature absolutely plays a difference and the weather plays a difference. So some people live in a nice warm temperature with low humidity and this thing sticks and they peel it right off, it's no big deal. If your wall is cold, it's an outside wall, it's gonna be a little bit harder. If there's a lot of humidity in the air, it's gonna be a little bit harder. But no matter what, you can absolutely get it on the wall, just have some patience and I'm gonna show you some tricks here. So I'm going to use this same tool that I just scraped these letters on with to actually help keep them in place as I pull the transfer paper off. So I'm going to take off my masking tape. I'm definitely done with that. And I'm going to slowly start in one corner from one side and peel off the transfer paper. And you can see right away a little bit of the S is peeling up and that's where the scraper comes into place. You can keep your scraper here to not only slide the letters back down if they're lifting, but you also um, can go along the letter and really keep that right there as you're peeling back the transfer paper and it will help keep the letters and the numbers in place. And for the most part, once you get them started like these, now it's easy to just pull it off the rest of the way and you want to slow down a little bit at each point where you're starting a new number or letter and just give it a good scrape there and then keep pulling. If it lifts up a little bit, don't worry, just go back. And again, sometimes you can even just go with your finger here, work out any air bubble you might have. And you're going to keep doing that all the way across your decal. And um, the letters that are on top of another piece of vinyl will be a lot easier because vinyl likes to stick to itself more than it likes to stick to your wall. So when you get to like in this um, decal where the N is over top of the J, that's actually a pretty easy one there because the N um, will like to stick to that J a little bit better. You can absolutely, if you want at any point, now that you have a bunch of this on, you could trim off this extra transfer paper if you wanted, if you started to feel like it was getting to be a little bit too much to hold in place. You could absolutely find a good spot to just trim it off if you want it. And you're going to keep working your way all the way across. The more complicated your decal is, uh, the more patience you'll have to have with it. But you'll see that once I get past this little established date, this actually will start to move a lot quicker. And here, like I said, the N is going to really want to stick to that J, so that kind of makes this part a little bit easier. Can you just keep giving it a good pull? Now that I'm um, not on top of the J anymore, though, I should slow down a little bit. And again, scrape these letters as I go, and they'll stay in place. And we are almost there. If you keep that scraper right there at the edge of your transfer paper, they tend to stay in place really, really well. And here it's lifting a little bit. Just give it a little scrape. And this last letter right here. I'm going to cheat and just pull it off and then put it right back on again. Now, some people will say, again, weather sometimes plays a difference, that you'll start to get air bubbles. And usually they um, will always come back in the same spots. So one trick you can do is if you have a spot that seems to be getting a bubble in it, you can um, get it nice and flat, use a scraper or even your finger is enough, hit it with your hair dryer just a tiny little bit, and the heat will help the vinyl really adhere to your wall, and that air bubble will not come back. And then you have your perfectly centered horizontal uh, decal on your wall. Hope this helped. Thanks.